so hello and uh, welcome to everybody to the let's crack wp exam and uh, wish you a very good evening to all of you those who are watching me and those who are also going to watch me good evening sagar This will be a very good evening to all of you, including Sagar Kumar, also joining me in the evening session and uh, the YouTube. Which we a very uh, YouTube festive for our phone academy is uh, running on. So this is also extended for the tomorrow. This festive session, okay, on the YouTube. For, so let's enjoy and uh, what uh, great, I would say, great amount of and its eight number of opportunities there to learning, and you are also having the good educator here to have also the. The knowledge so let's crack wbs uh, but exam with us we're having top educator quality of content great learning experience let's crack wb exams so crack wps within this large learning platform get plus subscription and access unlimited life and recorded courses to from the English best educator get subscription let's crack wp exam hi my name is sipsankar hatra i did my graduation with the history honors and post graduation with social linguistics i have been mentoring for the pcs aspirants since 2017 so i have guided many OPSC aspirants to their destination. I have worked in different institutions since then and do guide the aspirants on GS, Optional Geography, ESA and Current Affairs. What you will get once you have got subscribed to that, you will get daily live classes where you can have for the option like you can chat with me, you can chat with the educator, you can engage in discussion, you can ask it out, you can also participate in the answer poll while the class is going on okay these are the live class feature you will, you would not be able to have this feature once the class get recorded so try possible but uh, try your best to have the live class experience and to realize and to experience the what real time class i would say structure course means all our courses are structured in such a way that your exam syllabus uh, uh, but uh, to, uh, would be what completely cover up and that would be a best prepare for that it will also what uh, design in such a way that would be also helpful your syllabus to be cover up that test and quizzes to evaluate your preparation through our regular mock test and quizzes and get detailed analysis of your performance so that you will find out your i would say what strong and weak areas strong and weak areas unlimited access once you get subscription you would be able to access all the live and recorded courses to us from the comfort of any of our devices Live test and quizzes, you can uh, sorry, uh, what would be the feature? You can search the live classes, the live class like this one. You will see the live class, okay? So it's going on, live class is going on, and those classes going to have, there will be a schedule already is given over there. So you will have the good settings uh, work over there, out there, I would say. Educators, there would be what, if, so educators, if you want to have the, to know about the educator, your educator, you can also have, so you can also go to the profile and you can also get about the how many was minutes are there, how many followers are there, these things you can also check out over there. Number of batches has been run, uh, let uh, this batch for the what WPCSI, this one for the what of second affair, this one for the foundation batch, this one for the foundation batch, so like this, okay. Comprehensive syllabus, I would say quantitative, aptitude, history, quality, everything would be covered up. Okay. So all these things. Track your preparation. So track your preparation. I would say what? You can also track your preparation through a regular mock test. One academy advantages. What will have the what would be the advantages for you? You will have the scheduled work for you. That means you are nothing to do with that. Simple you have. We will have the scheduled work for you, and you have to follow that. Just follow the schedule of your educator and uh, get your syllabus to be complete off. No language is no longer a barrier. Either you can learn through the English, it would be Hindi, it would be Bengali. Okay. So on and so forth would be the languages. Learn times. Okay. You can uh, learn it anytime and everywhere, uh, but what it's anywhere through its uh, download and keep it, keep it with you and learn it. Then what would be the other advantages? The advantages would be like that. You can see the advantages that you can interact with your educator. You can get doubt to be clear. You can also participate in the live poll as well. 
so live test and quizzes okay live test and quizzes you can see the live test and quizzes you can also participate and get total analysis of your performance pdf uh, you can have also pdf of your i would say what uh, that is the learning material and that could be used by you as well there would be a subscription but for the one month it would be 1900 for the three months it would be 3400 uh, what uh, i would say three for the three months it would be 4700 for the six month it would be 8550 rupees for the 12 months it would be 10000 for the 24 months it would be 15200 on the top of that use my code ssw9 to get the 10 percent off what 10 percent off okay today we will talk about the what alarming topic that would be one of the most important topic i would say and also the topic of i would say the decade I, it would be no, no exaggeration from if i say the topic of the decade the sundarban and its problem you can see the royal bengal tiger what one of the keystone species i would say the keystone species of sundarban is the what royal bengal tiger you can see they can sw swim across the river they can walk through the muddy flat plain okay they are the hunter i would say they are the keystone species of this region you can see the what in a hunting mode in a what this is the lion what this is the tiger this one is the tiger i guess i don't one of the indian i would say but wildlife protection act all these things so we will today we will talk about is sundarban is safe, safe or not whether the sundarban is safe or not we will talk about that sundarban okay first of all we will have the idea what exactly the setting of sundarban what exactly where does exactly it located what are the region so good evening uh for nanda and good evening to sagar kumar as well okay so what i would say the sundarban you can see the sundarban okay so this is the what the mighty sundarbans and you can have the what mangrove forest also around there and the but number of creeks also there i would say what this one is a creek this one is but the creek jaho uh jisko nala bolte hain apart from that you can have the what as a thick uh, mangrove forest there would be so we will have the location of mangrove what exactly the location of the mangrove or the sundarban so sundarban landscapes in a global setting but we will talk about the landscapes of sundarbans you can see this is the sundarban area the gangetic what the ganges delta this one is the what one of the last area you can see the sundarban delta what the sundarban delta and this is the area so sundarban landscapes eco region formed by the ganga meghna and brahmaputra okay these are the rivers you can see the magna here is you can see uh, the river is coming ganga so i would say simple the ganga and brahmaputra they are meeting here okay and here it's known as jamuna and become the padma okay it would be but i would say padma okay padma and then magna okay so these are the rivers so suddenly the different names are different place they are known as the different name simple so this region i would say the ganga and brahmaputra delta region this region okay this region is the sundarban region or i would say gangetic what is, that is the what i would say sundarban delta and the sundarban found in the southern part of this delta okay so good evening everybody once again and uh, this is what i would say this there would be a number of questions in the sundarban you might be asked okay, why sundarban is the largest delta in the world what is the region to have or to form this is one of the largest delta in the world what are the region the reason is that two mighty rivers are there two mighty rivers are there they're putting huge and the millions tons of sediment each year and they're getting what i would say consolidated and that uh, the process of making deltas goes on it's not it so that the sundarban landscape eco region formed by the river that is ganga meghna and Bahubutra is the tidal active power part of the largest delta in the world consisting the that is what warren of the river creek and marshes alluvial fault plains that is the flood plains so simple i would say this sundarban delta or the landscape is having uh, the number of river creek that is creek means what uh, this is nala bote chote 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 uh, okay i would say the what uh, they are the distributaries i would say okay marshes that means the low lying areas and alluvial flood plain so there would be mars area or the low land area over uh, as well 
Okay, these are the areas found of this region. You can see the uh, Sundarban is spread over both India and Bangladesh. At the confluence of the delta of that is the Bay of Bengal, the single largest mangrove patch in the world across over 10,300 square kilometer, which is about 60% of the Bangladesh and the rest in India. That means the maximum part of the Sundarban is coming in uh, under the what I would say the Sundar Bangladesh part and the rest of India is coming in the in, in the India. So that means I would say six is to four that is Bangladesh and India. So India is having I would say what 40% or 60% it goes to the Bangladesh. This is one of the largest, not largest, it's the single largest mangrove region in the world and the largest delta region in the world as well. The mangrove patches is acknowledged worldwide for its outstanding biodiversity, including the Bengal tiger designated as the World Heritage Site in the both countries. That means the Sundarban is the World Heritage Site and also the Biospheric Reserve of India and Bangladesh. This lateral mangrove forest, besides serving the habitant for the about 200 tigers, accounting for the what 5% of the global population of, in the wild, I would say, also impart protection from the storm surge and a protection from the storm, storm surge. That means each year, I would say, uh, the what is alternative yours, I you would you would say, or in each year, the small or the large storms comes to this region and strike and also that the region protect the human being from being what i would say swept away caused by the tropical cyclones and the last year in the 2020 the tropical cyclone struck okay okay amphan i would say what that is the amphan uh, it's not it by what that is the tenet tenetiating the impact of the cyclones and record the sub that is the what sub dedal time okay sub decal that is what sub cardal i'm sorry sub cardal time scale in the Bay of Bengal. So that means these are the mangrove region, these are the littoral region. So Indian Sundarban, the, in the India, the Sundarban region is designated as the Sundarban Biosphere Reserve, comprised of the area 9,630 square kilometer with around 4,260 square kilometer is under the reserve forest. So I would say 60% of that, uh, I would say what out of, I would say almost 60% is under the reserve forest including 2300 square meter of the what that is the protected areas what i would say protected areas pa for protected areas that means most of the mangrove forest which is in the indian side we are talking about in the indian side they are either protected they are through the biosphere reserve through the national parks through the designated forest area like this in totality the geographical area of this region is around 19,271 square kilometer with 19% of the protected areas, 3,697 square kilometer and 47% of the inhabited region. The spread of the part of the seven adjoining districts, that is the 24 Pargana, North Pargana and uh, Satkira, Khulna and also Baragat, Hana, Ferozpur and also Barguna. So these are the region which is coming under the Sundarban, covering 40 sub-districts and encompassing 327 villages clustered known as the Union, what I would say Parisot in the Bengal, Gram Panchayat in India with the population of 7.2 million. So you can see how many sub-districts, 40 sub-districts. 327 villages cluster so such a huge number 327 villages cluster this ko bola jata hai union parishad in bangladesh but i gram panchayat in india side okay number of panchayats are there like you can have also in our kendrapada number of panchayat are also coming under the mangrove region so depend on agricultural fisheries and collection of the minor forest produce so i would say what that means those peoples are residing close to this biosphere resort of the ecosystem that is the Sundarban. They are completely reside or the what rely upon that particular ecosystem and they are getting what I would say food, fodder and all these things from this particular region. It's not it. They are getting from particular region. Okay. So that's the region. So let's have the Sundarban of this part is this side is the Indian side and this side is the Bangladesh side. Okay, you can see the national park areas, the what wildlife sanctuaries, national park, wildlife sanctuaries. Okay, this would be what wildlife sanctuary as well. 
so sanctuaries these are the sanctuaries sanctuaries number of sanctuaries national parks okay all these are distributed okay apart from that uh, you can have the national parks this would be the national park the red part is the national park yellow part is the wildlife sanctuary and uh, what the reserve forest is the green part is the reserve forest these are the reserve forest okay and the yellow part as i said the yellow part is the wildlife sanctuary the red part is the national parks okay so you can see the last number of uh, last area is coming under the national park in this region so this is part of the south Pargana. you can see the south Pargana and also some part of the north Pargana as well in the bengal okay maximum part is coming under the south Pargana. okay south 24 Parganas. what south 24 Parganas? if you are aware of that so you can see the largest mangrove forest in the world Tassundarpan was made in this heritage site in what 1987 and could become the Ramsar soon and also the Ramsar site what become the Ramsar site 4260 square kilometer area of Sundarban such a huge area is coming under the Sundarban okay so you can see such a huge area 125 square kilometer wetland area sorry and home to about 100 royal bengal tigers in wild i would say what in wild okay 26 ramsar site in the india including east kolkata wetland 43 percent of indian mangroves cover in the sundarban region 43 percent indian mangroves cover in the sundarban region 26 ramsar site uh, in india including the east kolkata wetland so these wetlands are also east kolkata wetlands are these are the wetlands you can have as I said, mentioned once again, uh, time and again, I do mention that 43% of the Indian mangrove cover in this Sundarban area. Okay. So problem of Sundarban. We will now talk about the problem of Sundarban. Sundarban is also facing a number of problems. So problems are being facing in the Sundarban. So okay, Sundarban. So problem of Sundarban. So there is a, but I would say number of problems is being faced in the Sundarban. Sundarban is the natural region in the state of Bengal. It covers around what I would say 10,000 square kilometer out of which 60% lies in Bangladesh and remaining in India. What remaining in India? That means Sundarban is a natural region in the state of Bengal. Okay. Covers around 10,000 square kilometer out of which 60% lies in Bangladesh and 40% over the Indian side. The Sundarban forest is the largest mangrove wetland ecosystem in the world. Sundarban falls under the what UNESCO World Heritage Site. It has the largest Bengal tiger reserve in the world and the Vice region. It also selected for the Ramsar wetland site. So these are the what important things you have to know about the Sundar. Because these are the things has been asked in what I would say prelim and the men's both. At least you need some data to put over the in I would say what uh, in your exam. Otherwise, how could you uh, substantiate your answer? You have to substance substantiate your answer through by giving the what I would say data. Because uh, without data, uh, your answer would not be half what a valid one. So hence, I always uh, put uh, that is the what stress of the data which is required as the data as you can see uh, the 60 portion of the 40 percent. The number of data so already also here put over either 87 it becomes the Ramsar site. All these things. So now we will talk about the problem one. So what are the problem one? You can see. So the problems uh, are the what factor that contributes the environmental issues of the Sundarban. Environmental issues of the Sundarban. First is the sea level rise. What sea level rise? Sea level rise. The rise of sea level in the what that is the core areas of Sundarban made is the post effect of the human settlement in the nearby blocks. That means so rise of sea level is the important and the most dangerous aspect of the Sundarban I would say as the rise of sea level is what happening okay happening the rise of sea levels has deprivated the peoples to their what main source of the livelihood agriculture and fishing a lot of agricultural land is being submerged under the water then say the rise of sea level is highly impacted that is the Sundarban none other area of India if any area which is coming under the, I would say Sundar, in the what uh, region which is highly impacted, that would be Sundarban. 
because as a result many agricultural land they got some most even in the uh, coastal region of odisha coastal region of gujarat they are also subject to uh, particular in the kerala they are also subjected to the what uh, submersion so many parts of the agricultural land they got vanished they got what some most in the uh, i would say what that is in the you know, womb of the sea or that is the bay of bengal and that subjected to the migration that is why the migration is taking place in this region as the land is getting submerged to what uh, regular there would be what rising of the sea level rising of the number of storm number of tropical cyclones striking each year and hence the people are getting uh, what i've said uh, people are leaving the place and they're moving away from that particular region is not it they're leaving the way so that is why i would say livelihood people also losing their livelihood how the what infrastructure is pretty less and that is what what i would say fishing is not there agriculture fishing both are getting harm and that resulted into the migration and i would say sundarban migration one of the most important problems then salinity we will also talk about the salinity another problem about from the what as we are talking about the level of sea level rise then we will talk about the salinity so salinity also one of the fact i would say what uh that is the one of the fact at the salinity so salinity one of the fact is that the river water starting to red slowly increasing what i would say the salinity in that particular region salinity the river water salinity rate is slowly increasing with the time and more rivers are affected by the salinity in the sundarban that means the salinity in sundarban i would say on an average in increasing as the salinity is increasing that would be the one of the determinant fact okay which i would say suddenly for that determinant fact what would it will what it will cause harm or what it will harm it will harm that what that is the mangrove forest the mangrove forest will get get harm for that is not it the mangrove forest would be got harm for that because the mangrove forest is having what a tolerant capacity when the salinity will increase beyond that capacity that would not be able to tolerate that the mangrove would not be tolerate that and mangrove will subject to absolute the die death of the wood will increase the increased salinity is caused due to the what scarcity of the fresh water in the ganga fresh water and the what ganges fresh water i would say what that is the amount of fresh water which is subjected to the what inducted into that particular wetland region they are getting less and the hence i would say the what salinity is increasing as a result the re reduction in the flow rate of the gangas rivers has resulted into the reverse flow of the what water saline water into the upstream areas are you getting my point the rivers uh, in the past the amount of river which has injected or which was i would say put into the sea that was my what that was more and as the amount of water is declining in the flowing of the ganga river either might they might be what getting diverted they might be getting cast off whatever the region would be simple i would say as the rivers water is the flowing water of the river is getting slightly reducing the what there would be reverse flow from the what bay of bengal towards the what opposite stream upstream of the river and that will result into the increase of salinity the high salinity zone is situated in the mouth of western corner of the sundarban as a result as the salinity increasing in the sundarban the plants the what species that mangrove species which is uh, but colonized in that particular region they will lose their power they lose the power i would say to what filter that saline water and then subject to the death next we will talk about the climate change the climate change and impact on sundarban so what i would say so not only salinity not only migration not only sea level rise so climate change is another important fact which coupled i would say which coupled that sustain the problem of sundarban what what exactly climate change mean what exactly the mean of the climate change when i talk about the change that is the climate change means climate is simple i would say the temperature precipitation pressure humidity relative humidity okay these are the what components of the climate so anything get get change that would be termed as the climate change 
what i would say when i talk about climate change climate is what at least 30 years on an average of the weather of a particular region so what are the component of climate component of the climate i would say temperature precipitation okay i would say pressure air i would say what atmospheric density and uh, relative humidity absolute humidity all these things are taken into comp uh, what i would say uh, concentration as the component of climate when these things get changed that would be terms of the climate change it's also showing an increasing trend of the sundarbhai region the variability in the climatic parameters has increased in the past few years the warm climate could cause an increase in the cyclone speed and amount of rainfall but i said more the warm would be that region if that sundarbhai region get warm more warmer warmer and warmer that would the number of cyclone will strike as well more why because that region would be attract the low pressure that region will attract the wet cyclonic storm from the nearby region which would be formed in the bay of bengal and that is why you can see the last year in the 2020 itself uh, there was what i would say the ampan struck uh, that is the sundarban between the hatia and the highland is not it everybody is comfortable with english hope everybody is comfortable with english no problem with that i do believe okay then we will talk about oil spill is another cause i would say another problem is the region is that oil spill so oil spill in 2014 there was also oil spill which was reported over there around 350 tons of the oil was spilled into the river sundarban on the december 9 14 the spill occurred at the wet protected area of the river where the rare dolphins were presented just lab list have a look over this that means the oil spills is one of the reason for the ecosystem got we got damaged because if i would say just a uh, let's have uh, let me be imagine that this would be a small pond if i oil a layer of oil will settle over the water that will suffocate the what that will suffocate the feces which is present over there it's not it the feces will get suffocate and they will die so oil spill will cause the suffocation will cause the suffocation the oil spill disturb the aquatic life resulted in the death of the certain aquatic animals especially about the dolphin their what digestive system will got problem their clotting would be there uh, they would not be able to respire uh, okay the respiration would be them would not be <clears throat> and their fin i would say the fin uh, the fin fi and i would say the fin uh, that would be got sticky that would be okay all this problem the oil spill also generating the major threat to the forest and also the food cycle as well okay private the level of the food cycles are also what i would say time effect of the excessive oil spill due to the oil spill dolphins salt water crocodile bengal tiger leopards cheetahs are also facing just facing several threats okay you can see the bengals so these are the region okay kak thief these are the kak thief okay i would say the kak thief and this would be the sagar thief okay this would be the sagar thief i can say, see the diamond harbor this would be the diamond harbor okay and this would be the work you can see this one These are the Namkhana, you can see the Namkhana, Kagdik, Namkhana, okay. And here would be your Sagardik. So these are the area where they okay. Here would be your, I would say, the what Kolkata sub war, okay. So the what other problems of the Sundarban? You can see the other problem of the Sundarban. So other problems, the deltas are coastal complex characteristics by the what interplay of the between the rivers, land, and ocean. So there here I would say the lay of the land, the lay of the land. What I would say the lay of the land means what? So the delta region are the coastal complex characteristics by the river, land, and ocean. So that means I would say the land which is found over that region they are subjected to what they are subjected to that is the interplay that means always there is a competition between the river land and ocean 
influenced by the combination of the river tidals and the wave processes that combine natural ecosystem in diverse habitat. That means, let's say river is depositing the silt part or the outside mud and the silt and any other matter which is getting subjected to the but drows into a certain point or the mangroves it could be the into the region of the mangroves could be the region of the beaches could be the region of the estuaries or the low lying uh, wetland region where they would be creating wet and settle down but uh, either might be if there would be a strong what i would say storm surge or uh, either i would say the tropical cyclones or there will be strong uh, i would say what oceanic current that will get uh, erode the metal would not be able to settle down because of this strong force okay and the human system as well the houses agriculture aqua, aqua, uh, aquaculture industry and transportation they would also get damaged there are low lying coastal landform is there that is formed by the river and sediments that are around river mounds okay mostly during the uh, what's the last uh, 6000 to 8000 year of relatively stable sea so i would say what uh, 6000 to 8000 years relatively stable sea though low lying areas are the coastal areas that the stable sea not submerging but is yes, some islands are also reported to have got submerged okay this low lying coastal landforms have a population of the density more than 10 times in the world average so you can just imagine that sundarban is also densely populated region what i would say densely populated region sundarban also is what i would say densely populated region problem of the low lying plains what are the problem of the low lying plains the problem would be what changing the sea level as i was talking about recently the subject to the impact from the what river flow of stream fresh water is now less more saline water is getting on at the same time there are what i would say affected by the human activities such as the land use pattern change dam construction irrigation mining extraction of the what of the surface resource and urbanization so that means these are the things also coming up sometimes affected by the human activities not only sundarban is affected by the what nature itself but it is also affected by the human activities that is the anthropogenic causes that means what the sundarban area is uh, what i would sorry the kolkata area the city area is expanding more construction more irrigation more mining more extraction more uh, land use pattern is getting changed land use pattern is getting changed means what network of road is getting on bridges is getting on more construction is getting on in form of the what is it might be the residential buildings or any factories i would say so these are the areas also is being getting off so ganga bamputra delta is one of the what several delta region around the world that is shrinking what shrinking so because of rise of sea level because of what rise of sea level as the sea level is getting rise the area are getting sinkings the times variable relatively sea level rise the reason has been 8 to 18 mm per year that means is getting some most the range covering either different times and different areas of the delta that may each year the Ganga, that region that delta region is subjected to shrinking out a uh, sinking down i would say what shrinking downs like the new more island the new more island is no longer is now submerged okay then sediment dynamic the sediment dynamics means what the sediments are diamonds they're not but are systemic there are marked by the difference between the western and the eastern side of the delta the western part of the delta are start of the sediment there was very lack of the sediment western part but the eastern part is having abundant sediment why you can see the map you can see the map over here i would say these are the western part of the delta these are the eastern part of the delta here there would be amount of sediment would be more but here amount of sediment is less the region of sagar the you can see the kagdi namkhana so these regions i would say, say the, okay these are the area which is coming under this region there is less a uh, what i would say the less uh, that means what uh, uh the siltation is very less or the less silt is being get deferred and deposited in this region but this region would be amounted okay but the uh, whereas the net sedimentation on the eastern part of the delta that is a magna delta plain and uh, further east of the sundra region trapped about 10% of the annual Gangatic sediments load with uh, that is accretion rate 
roughly equivalent to the means regional relatively high level rise okay about uh, one centimeter per year that means there would be more abundant siltation at the deposition because of the what more sediment is getting deposited on that part embankment construction also going on what to but i would say tide related sediment deposited on the dental surface resulting into the siltation within the tidal creek and sediment starvation inside the embankment other embankments were built around the low lying plots of the land different since the 1970s or the 1770s to hold back the tidal water and to create the land for the agriculture like your i would say in the kerala so water will try to to encroach the part of the land hence we have to make the other embankment okay like you see the bandh this coin bengali mein kehte hain na bandh banana hai kaise mitti ka bandh jo hota hai na mitti mein bandh jo banate hain taki water andar na aa paaye and here agriculture would be possible otherwise that water will comes into that region tidal water and that area would not be get into the cover under the but agriculture so okay then tropical cyclones are also one of the important and also the main cause for the sundarban uh, that is the problem is tropical cyclone the sundarban position in the north that is the north of bay of bengal makes it vulnerable but north of bay of bengal but that is what to the last tropical cyclones that frequently form the bay of bengal october to december to april to may this are the region and the last year in the 2020 i was i was also talking about ampan struck it the bay of bengal has called that is the breeding ground for the tropical cyclone due to the phenomena like the what the, i would say the phenomena of the re uh, curvature of the tropical cyclones in the bay of bengal shallow continental shelf especially eastern part of the bengal high tidal range triangular shape of the head of the bay of bengal amount of sea level that is what orography of the bengal coast and coupled uh, with the many of the inlet and some rivers and the estuaries high density of the population especially low lying island okay so these are the reason i would say that cause for the what that cause for the tropical cyclone to be more devastating in this region that means the i would say kak dik sagar dik these are the reason also highly populated region as the these regions are the low lying area and i would say highly populated region that what if the tropical cyclone got strike this region that would be devastating huge so toll would be it will have in 2009 cyclone alia struck the sundarban region and resulted in the flooding that is the what um, maroon to over what 2 million to displace more than 1 lakh of people in the worst heat area storm also inundated the island uh, with a fresh silt in the some places reaching depth up to 7 cm storm surge have been also documented up to 20 meter high around the bay of bengal coast that means the tropical cyclone which struck that is the alia that resulted the many people to be migrated and many people are also getting migrated fearing the storm surge in the for the time as well the storm surge can travel several kilometer into the estuarian channels and cause deep that is the soft aqueous uh, that is the word squall uh, as the base of the peninsular island okay remaining alarms also delta flood flood bhi ho sakta hai yahan pe life lost ho sakta hai damage bhi ho sakta hai bahut is sara okay and threat to the sundarbans uh, mangrove okay the human pressure mangrove ko aage dekhenge to human pressure bahut hai idhar hai na so uh, 50% of the northwestern part of the inland uh, sundarban delta have been continuously clear to the human habitation settlement agriculture and the brackish water fisheries so land change land use pattern change ho raha hai wahan pe population industry bhi grow kar raha hai economic activities shipping port close to the forest and intensive aquaculture is a sare ke sare ek threat hai human pressure is one of the most important cause logo kya kare log ne forest ko matlab forest ko kaat ke kya kare zameen bana rahe hain ghar kar rahe hain wahan pe industry bhi ho raha hai uske baad agar hum dekhe ki economic activities badh rahe hain and uh, more of the forest is forest are getting deforested as well maximum forest they are also getting deforested in this region so human being also putting pressure land use pattern when we see the land use pattern is getting changed means what earlier it used to be the agricultural field now it is getting converted into a residential area what by the construction of the road buildings residential house bridges uh, different factors small small i would say but uh, at least i would say the msm sector are also coming up in this region so human pressure over the sundarban is large you can see 
the population in the Sundarban in million in 2011 according to the census 4.444 million that means it's continuously increasing you can see the continuous increase of the human population in the Sundarban region more the human population more the pressure over the land would be there you can see the change of the Sundarban from 1776 to 2015 okay so these are the what you can see area how area is decreasing how area is decreasing here you can see the area is getting decreasing areas are what you can see so it was 1900 i would say what it was 1954 in this line and uh, you can see that this lines 2015 again it is got shrink to this line okay and uh, this area was also i would say this green lines it was 1776 that means it was a large area then 1848 it was also large the continuously shrinking you can see the, the best figure i would say this would be the best figure to know about the sundarban how sundarban is getting impacted so it was your i would say what 1776 a large area this green line this was a large area of sundarban but in 1841 the yellow area that means shrinked many part got shrinked in what i would say 1954 see the the red line that means it got sent into the very small part again in 2015 it got sent so that means continuously it is getting shrinked almost i would say 40 percent to 50 40 percent land is got sent changing Com what continuously changing in the area and it was the green area you can see the green area was 8800 uh what uh, 33 square kilometer which becomes the yellow region then 8400 then 3000 and now it will be 3000 from 8000 it's now 3000 you can change you can see the change difference is now earlier it was 8833 square kilometer now it is only 3052 square kilometer see the difference that means sundarban area is decreasing year after year and that's the region is being threat so that means what i was a human pressure Human pressure, industrializing that are the region, barrage construction. So number of barrage, like I would say the Faraka barrage of the Ganga, reduce from the what I would say that will reduce what water flow of water, the distribution of the Ganga's river since 1975. The dry fresh water flow into the mangrove who dominated the eastern Sundarban is reduced as the what water is got reduced because of the Faraka barrage construction. That means the amount of fresh water is getting disturbed. The fresh water starvation of the both natural and anthropogenic led to the major what I would say macrofauna of arboreal primate. Okay, the number of other uh, I would say what uh, okay I would say what um, uh, ecosystem is getting changed and the big cat also are there also the affected. Even more alarming that is the what natural salinity of the ecosystem also getting changed. Okay, so salinity also one of the region and salinity also getting changed. Okay. You can see the Faraka barrage. Earlier, when this barrage was not there, total amount of flow of the water it was uh, in form of uh, either led to would be in form of Padma or I would say it was to the Kolkata. Here you can see the Kolkata port. Okay, that means the a total amount of water which used to flow, pahle jitta flow karta tha, ab kam ho gaya. Hai na? Barrage ke chalte water divert ho raha na different tarah water. So that means the amount of water which used to be flow in this region. That water what we got less water because of the barrage is being constructed and the water is now diverted through the canals, different canals. It will put that is what fresh water availability is decreasing and that will pressure over the what that will create pressure over the mangrove. Over the what salinity of that radio area would be get change. It's not it. So pollution also one of the region as is, I was talking about so while spill in 2014. So these were also one of the region. Okay, pollution. Okay, you can see the pollution high pollution. You can see the eutrophication. This is what eutrophication. The tiger is swimming out. Eutrophication is there. One of the region. Okay. So I would say what eutrophication also one of the region. You can see the oil spill. Okay, what oil spill also one of the region. See the oil spill. The oil is getting extracted. So I would say what oil japper is being used. So oil spill also another region that means what I would say oil spill either it would be oil spill either it would be eutrophication either it would be plastics they are what I would say they are being thrown and they are been what uh, millions tons it's been 
getting into the Sundarban and that will also affect the Sundarban. So what I would say new trend enrichment that is the eutrophication I would say what eutrophication new trend there would be huge amount of new trend that is the what organic compound I would say what organic compound is increasing all the domain groups has been proposed to protect the marine environment life from the land deprived new trend the negative consequence of the mangroves and their capacity okay so non-point source pollutants non-pointed source means which would not be easily pointed out particular say agriculture and other things okay so this would be the current uh, okay with the climate change impact you can see the turbidity would be less the visibility will reduce you can see these are the top okay so visibility was quite great and they could even dive and having the fruits so that was the earlier when the current condition of the current condition with the climate change what will happen this will happen that means what visibility will reduce and what uh, that means what so that the this what i would say creature they would not have opportunity to catch the their food that would be case okay temperature will die improve the poor water quality would be there water quality jab kam ho jata na dikhta nahi hai na inko jo chote chote machhi ye log khate hai na wo dikhega nahi kahan pe chupa hua hai unko nahi dikhega so okay that's all for the what i would say for this session now i will begin at the 7 pm once again i will come live at the 7 pm till then bye bye take care let's card wb exams like it share it and subscribe it as much as possible use my code ss line to get the what i would say 10 percent off so next live i will be at 7 pm after the 7 pm i will be next live so today is youtube festive so enjoy the youtube festive and join us more and more and uh, also encourage us that's all uh, i will be at 7 pm thank you all